the fourth worldwide and first in Europe. None of the headlines have sparked as much talk in Germany as the arrival of Tesla's Gigafactory near Berlin. It will churn out hundreds of thousands of electric cars in the birth country of the combustion engine. Today, we will discuss everything we know about Tesla Gigafactory in Berlin. How much money was spent on the construction? What is the capacity of Gigafactory? And what problems could stop Tesla from conquering Germany and the whole of Europe with their cars? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. The massive factory will shake up the car industry in Germany and Europe, accelerate regional development, and shift to electric mobility. Construction is advancing fast, even though the project is yet to receive final clearance from the authorities. Moreover, there are many haters, with some locals arguing that the plant will harm the environment. Tesla had hoped to open the factory on July 1st, but permitting issues and plans to build a battery cell factory at the site reportedly contributed to the delay. When Tesla reported earnings, the electric vehicle company said its newest factories in Berlin and Texas are making progress. However, a new report states that production will be delayed by another six months. No! God, please, no! 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 The product technologies and production methods applied at the Berlin-Brandenburg site are promised to be absolutely cutting edge. The factory will leverage powerful battery systems, high-performance drive units, and electronics. The term Gigafactory was brought to life by Musk to describe his company's plans for the giant battery factory in Nevada. So, it's basically a marketing phrase that has taken on a life of its own. Official Tesla declares that Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg will be the most advanced high-volume electric vehicle production plant in the world. Tesla also plans to use superior casting systems and body shop to emphasize vehicle safety. The never-seen color tone depths and complexity in Model Y, as well as a high-quality final assembly, are promised to astonish us. What are the big plans? Musk's final goal is to hire up to 40,000 employees at the factory and produce up to 500,000 vehicles per year. The company wants to invest up to 4 billion euros in the project. Now, let's put these figures into perspective. The Wolfsburg Volkswagen factory, the group's headquarters, and the world's largest single car manufacturing complex, with a surface area of 6.5 square kilometers, produced just over 700,000 cars in 2018. All German car makers together made 428,000 electric vehicles in 2020 and exported 62% of them. Tesla's surprise announcement about building the Gigafactory hit Germany's car industry like a bombshell. Elon Musk casually declared the news in late 2019 on a stage in Berlin after getting a Golden Steering Wheel Award. So the Tesla Gigafactory uh, Europe uh, in the Berlin area. No doubt, most of the top managers of German car makers attending the meeting left with their jaw dropped. The excitement hasn't subsided since. The move has been dubbed a declaration of war against the country's car establishment. Germany's trio of car making groups, Volkswagen, BMW, and Daimler, has fallen into disrepute with large public and government parts all because of the emission manipulation scandal and the hesitant move to electric mobility. In a country where climate change often creates voters' concerns following unprecedented heat waves and droughts, clean mobility advocates have praised Tesla's plans as a tremendous gain for the mobility transition. Tesla also wants the Gigafactory to be the world's largest battery cell production plant. Musk declared an annual production capacity of up to 100 gigawatt hours was possible and then, possibly, increased to 200 or 250 gigawatt hours. A factory with an annual capacity of 100 gigawatt hours could alone produce enough batteries for 1.3 million Model Y cars with a 75 kilowatt hours battery. Many people expect substantial economic growth. Brandenburg, which surrounds the capital Berlin and holds the plant, is basically a weak region with few employment opportunities. It is seeking new jobs as many will be lost during Germany's coal exit since the mining industry is the most crucial for employers. The regional government wants to turn the area into a future mobility and energy transition hotspot. It showcases the Tesla location as a primary focus alongside broad issues such as digitalization and education. 
Musk's publicity stunts also fueled the media hype on Twitter, where he advised the plant should have a mega rave cave, with a swimming pool on the roof, and be packed with graffiti art. The site is located in the poorly populated and largely forested municipality of Grunheide, around 35 kilometers southeast of Berlin. Tesla bought land measuring about 3 square kilometers reserved for an industry project for approximately 20 years. BMW wanted to build a car plant at the same site two decades ago, but eventually opted for Leipzig. To lure employees to the site, Tesla pays attention to its natural surroundings, close to the vibrant city of Berlin. Tesla says convenient accessibility will be secured by an extensive bicycle road infrastructure, roads and highways, and direct train connections. The site is located near the Autobahn and will have a dedicated exit. The building of a plant railway station for freight logistics is also scheduled to achieve the potentially highest share of rail and freight traffic. Tesla is also thinking about using additional space in a nearby logistics center. The company plans to place an engineering and design center in Berlin itself. Berlin's new airport is around 35 kilometers away. Even though the construction of the factory is at the final stage, authorities still have not granted Tesla an ultimate permit. German law lets the company proceed with construction based on provisional licenses, despite outstanding questions regarding the factory's environmental influence, with the caveat that the US car maker would have to strike its construction and reforest the area if the licenses ultimately are denied. The approval process is primarily determined by Germany's Federal Emission Control Act, which aims at limiting environmental damages. By the law, Tesla made a 100 million euro deposit to ensure that the site can be restored to its original condition before construction began. In April 2021, Tesla criticized that the slow approval processes for German industry and infrastructure projects stand in the way of critical climate action efforts, as the carmaker continued to wait for the final approval. The authorities' approval process might be considered slow, but is extremely fast by German standards. Getting the needed approvals to build a single wind turbine can take several years in Germany. The fast progress at the Tesla factory also contrasts sharply with Berlin's new airport, which finally opened in late 2020 after a delay of almost 10 years. The speed of the project is mainly due to Tesla being prepared to take significant financial risks, but the relevant authorities have also made considerable efforts to allow a rapid realization. Shortly after the news that Tesla had chosen the place, the state government processed a dedicated task force to coordinate and rush the project without interfering in the approval process. Federal Economy Minister Peter Altmaier encouraged Musk that the government will help Tesla in any way needed to get the plant ready as soon as possible. Most local opposition is centered on environmental concerns relating to the plant's water usage, clearing a local forest, and increased traffic. Significant parts of the plant factory sit within a designated water protection zone. Tesla has taken different steps to lower the amount of water it originally intended to use, changing the heating system from gas to heat pumps, using a separate cooling system, and other optimizations. The forest parts required to be cleared to make room for the factory were not essentially grown, but a monoculture pine forest set for cardboard production. Tesla has promised it will overcompensate the clearing of the forest with reforestations elsewhere in the region. To minimize the influence on the local fauna, Tesla relocated bats and reptiles and 21 ant nests. The company also placed 368 nesting boxes for bats and 329 for birds. To reduce road traffic flow and minimize emissions, the backbone for freight transport and employees' commute will be rail connections. Authorities are also planning to connect the site to public transportation via cycle lanes. Brandenburg is a strong wind and solar electricity producer, and the plant's energy demand will be covered as much as needed, with locally and regionally generated renewable energy. Luckily, the majority of the region's inhabitants welcome the project. However, some local residents oppose the project, and their resistance has been widely covered in the media. For instance, German police are still investigating a fire that broke out at the construction site of Tesla's Gigafactory. It could have a political motive, after far-left activists claimed responsibility. The fire at the site in Grunheide damaged several power cables. Investigators were examining a letter circulated on social media that claimed responsibility. The letter, which was published on a radical left platform, 
said it had cut the power supply to the Tesla site by setting fire to six high-voltage cables above ground. Tesla is neither green, ecological, nor social, said the letter. But what do you think? Will Gigafactory be a saving for the environment, with EVs conquering the car market? Or is that just another step to conquer the world from the evil genius Musk? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.